In this video, I'm going to go over how I passed the OSCP exam in just 10 hours. First, I'm going to cover the structure of the OSCP exam. Then we're going to go into how I took notes that improved my enumeration steps. And then lastly, I'm going to cover some of the resources that I used to help prep me for this journey. Looking at the screen, we see the OSCP exam guide. So the exam is broken down into a 60-40 split where you can earn 60 points for routing the three independent target machines each machine is worth 20 points, and this can be a mix of Windows and Linux hosts, or it can be all Linux or all Windows. You never know because this part's randomly chosen. Each machine is worth 20 points. The standard user shell on each machine is worth 10 points, and then the privilege shell is worth another 10 points. So all together, this comes 60 points total. Now on the Active Directory set, this part's a little bit trickier. The Active Directory set is worth 40 points, but to obtain the 40 points, you have to fully exploit the entire domain. No partial points are awarded for this portion. So you have to exploit both client machines and then the single domain controller. Moving on, these are the possible scenarios to pass the exam. So there are six different ways to pass the exam using the Active Directory set plus three local flags or the AD set, two local flags and one proof etc etc you can even use the bonus points to help you pass the exam if you struggle a little bit it's important to note that even if you root all the machines on the oscp exam you can still fail if your report sucks so it's important to take good notes take screenshots of all your steps and make sure your documentation is spot on because if your report can't be replicated by the user reading it then you won't be able to pass the exam and then you'll have to take it again when it comes to taking notes, I use Cherry Tree to prep for the OCP. There are a lot of other tools out there. OneNote, for example, is a good tool to use. It syncs to the cloud and all your data, all your notes is backed up to the cloud, unlike Cherry Tree. Now, when it comes to the enumeration phase of your engagement, you want to make sure you have detailed notes. What I did was I ran a bunch of different tools like Nmap and Auto Recon, and I took a lot of detailed information on the ports and services that were found. For example, RPC, I ran mpacket and RPC dump to enumerate it a little bit further. On SMB, nmap, enum for Linux, SMB client. It's important to take good notes. You never know what's out there. You never know what you're going to find. So it's very important that you take detailed notes. From there, I moved on to the exploitation phase. I replicated my steps. I went back and took notes and screenshots of the steps I took to get a standard user shell on the machine, how I was able to exploit the forest machine on Hack the Box. On the Privest portion, you can see the different tools that I ran to get a privileged shell. The So the steps are pretty detailed in my opinion. They're not as detailed, but they're enough to where a user can read this and replicate this entire step. And you can take way more detailed notes. This is what I'm comfortable with. And when it comes to the to the report of the exam, it's important that when you write the report, that you write it in a way to where the the reader of the report it will be able to replicate the entire exploit of the Active Directory set or the independent machines that you exploited. So it's important to take good notes. You don't have to go overboard and have a hundred page report. For example, my report was only about twenty eight. 30 pages, something like that. And the first five pages were just the basic OCP template. So um, it's important to take good notes and make sure your steps are detailed. You don't have to go overboard. Before I go into the resources, it's important that you eat right. If you eat crap, you're gonna feel like crap. If you eat right, you're gonna feel right. Um, for me, I like to go work out. You know, sitting at a computer all day can kind of sometimes wear you down. Um, it's good to just get out there and get your blood pumping and always stay positive. Sometimes you'll come across a machine that's really going to stump you. Don't get mad. That's when you start making mistakes and then get start getting frustrated, pulling your hair out. Always stay positive. Whether you failed the exam or you passed the exam is just success deferred. So whether you pass or fail, you're always going to learn something. Now, moving on to resources. Uh, before we start, I'm going to drop a link to all these resources in the description so that way you don't have to look at the URL or try to write it down, etc., whatever. Um, so the first course that I recommend uh, if you're just starting your OCP journey is the Practical Ethical Hacking, the complete course by TCM Security. Um, this course covers everything from setting up your Kali machine to note taking, networking, exploitation, hacking Active Directory, and privilege escalation. From there, you can pivot over to Windows Priv Escalation, Linux Privilege Escalation, 
and then a ton of these other courses that can help you out too as well. This next resource is created by the NetSec Focus Admins. It's a list of different resources and machines that are similar to the OCP exam. Um, so if you're going on Hack the Box or Vulnhub, you're practicing on machines that are similar to the OCP and not wasting your time on machines that are completely irrelevant. So it covers Proving Grounds, Proving Grounds Practice, Hack the Box, Vulnhub, Proving Grounds, Hack the Box, OSCP, they're working on this, and etc. The next one will be Try Hack Me. There's a lot of good learning paths. For example, the offensive pen testing is a great learning path if you're looking to take the OSCP, or you can go from complete beginner, etc., etc. There's a ton of information on Try Hack Me that can help you prep. Now, this next resource, Hack the Box, um, will go hand in hand with IPSEC and the NetSet Focus resource. So for this, um, it's a list of machines. So in the retired machine section, there's a list of machines here that are retired by Hack the Box that you can use to help prepare you for the OCP exam. They're just a virtual machine on here that you can deploy and connect to the Hack the Box environment or network. And then from there, you can hack the machine without having to deploy a machine locally on your machine. Next resource is the Proving Ground Play and the Proving Ground Practice. Um, I used the Practice one, which was $19 a month USD. I like this more than the P Practice with Cali lab machines. I personally don't like those. So this one's in my opinion, this one in my opinion is a lot better. Next resource is IPSEC. This is a fantastic resource for, for when you get stumped on a machine. These are full walkthrough videos for machines that you may be stumped on on Hack the Box, or you can just sit here and binge watch the different videos and different walkthroughs to kind of get an idea of how to build your methodology. For example, you can copy Ipsec's methodology on how he approaches the VM, or you can build your own just by learning from this and kind of customizing it your own way. The next resource is Hack Tricks. Um, this will help you in real life or on the OSCP. There's a lot that can you can learn pen testing methodology, um, anywhere from learning phishing, pen testing, enumeration, some commands that you can use, privilege escalation. This is a wonderful resource just for hacking in general. Hack tricks is great for when you're trying to learn something that you don't know much about. For example, a specific web app attack or a specific service running on a target machine. Now, another great resource that I didn't get to share on the screen is the TryHard Security Discord server. I'll drop a link below in the description. This Discord server consists of students and security professionals. I met a lot of students on there studying towards the OSCP exam and was able to give them some insight on how I passed the exam, advice, tips, and the same resource. Um, so feel free to network with them or network with different security professionals on the server too. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.